Well, hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access tons of math videos to help make math your jam too. Our focus this week is drum roll. Multiple choice, y'all. Multiple choice. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here's your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready to come back and check your work, press play and you can do just that. See you soon. Welcome back fifth grade, let's go over this one. So it says, what is the volume of the right rectangular prism? So the right rectangular prism is the entire box right there. That box is has a fancy name and it's called a right rectangular prism. So to do this, we need to count the cubes. However, not all of the cubes are inside of that right rectangular prism. So we need to account for the ones that are there plus the ones that could fit. So let's see what we've got so far. If I go across, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a length of seven units. And then we have a width of one, two, three units. And then we have a height up here of one, two, three, four units. So there's a couple different ways that you could have gone about solving this problem and finding the volume of the entire right rectangular prism. One way might be to multiply the length times the width times the height. You could do that. You could also multiply the length times the width to find the base, which is just this part down here. And then you could multiply that by the levels, which is really the same thing, length times width times height. So you could have done length times width times height or base times height. Volume equals length times width times height, which is the same thing as the volume equals the base because the length times the width equals the base times the height. So I know that seven times three will equal my base. Seven times three is what? 21 times our height of four units. So if I do this right over here, that would be 84 cubic units because we have three different dimensions there. So 84 cubic units. All right, do we have that as an answer choice? We do, it is the letter, whoop, it is the letter D. Go ahead and pause the video and jot down any notes that you still need to make and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Also, before we go, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. So if you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with anything, you've got to make intentional time to practice and throw down your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you all, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourselves. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers.